Okay, welcome back everybody. It's Mike Newton back in the back garden. It's isolation swing tip series. And how many of you guys will probably make a swing like that lose your balance at the end of the golf swing? And that's what we're gonna focus on in this particular video is all about balance throughout the swing and also into that follow through position. Okay, so we know balance throughout the golf swing is really, really important to help us with a bit of tempo, to help us get some control, and also timing with helping to improve ball striking. I think sometimes as golfers we tend to try and hit the ball too hard, which is fine to obviously generate as much speed as we possibly can, but how do we then balance it out with some control through the swing? Because like you say, that swing you just maybe just see me do there, you don't want to be sort of stepping off, because that's tend to then see some not right movements happening sort of through the swing and obviously the strike can obviously be uh, sacrificed because of that. So look at the, the I would say the great swingers and the, and the sort of smooth swingers in, in the sort of touring world and we look at the likes, names spring to my mind like Ernie Els, Louis Oosthausen, Luke Donald, you know those sort of guys who just get to the end of the swing and they just look like they could stand there all day in that pose at the end of the golf swing. You know, and let's face it, it's always good to have a nice sort of finish at the, at the end of the golf swing, isn't it? It's that pose that, you know, all golfers need to have that pose and need to look good, don't we? So, you know, let's focus on that, that, that finish of the swing. And very simple tip here, and I used to sort of work a bit on this one. I used to play quite a bit when I felt like I got a bit rushed and I got into a bit of a fast tempo. It's just to really hit my finish position, make sure it's a full finish position, and then hold that bit position at the end. Really focus on a balance and, and just basically striking that pose at the end of the golf swing. You know, so we're gonna just gonna try and swing through hit and finish there and maybe at this point here just sort of count to three in your head in that finish position and just hold that balance and that sort of pose at the end of the swing. Let's hit a few. Okay, you can see just hold that finish at the end. It, it gives me a bit of sense of being in real good control of the golf ball. It relaxes me, it makes me feel like I can swing a little bit smoother. Two, three. Okay, feels really good. And then if you want to do that, once you've done that and you've got a good feel of that sort of balance and that control through your swing, up a little bit of speed into your swing. Try and hit a little bit harder, but also see if you can still hit your one, two, three count at the end of the swing in that follow through. So we'll just up a little bit of speed in this one. Okay, good, feels really nice control. So. Get that control aspect in there, focus on that finish position, hold your balance, hold hold your pause and your pose at the end of the golf swing, and then start to drip a little bit more speed in and see if that balance is still there. If it starts to drop off where you maybe just wavering a little bit or you're stepping off the shot, then obviously just go back and just ease off. And you'll find a little bit of a, a speed area where you can keep that control and hopefully improve your ball striking and your tempo. So easy for us golfers to get a bit into that faster sort of tempo, especially probably when you're hitting golf balls on the driving range, you've got all your golf balls there, we tend to get in a faster routine that we go hit, 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 and we just speed up and speed up. So it's good just to sort of take yourself out of that, slow it down, focus on that finish position and your balance through the golf swing. Okay guys, hopefully that little quick little tip there helps you. Something you can do at home in the garden, again, as we're isolating, just make some swings, hit your finish position, hit your pose. We've all got to look good, remember, on that golf course. Okay, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, just hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share the video around, and hopefully we'll catch up tomorrow for another swing tip.